Hi, WSL Corsair here. Just for the Tuesday uh, community, um, here is a prototype of uh, WSL Immutable OS, thanks to the micro OS from uh, OpenSUSE. So um, the root will not change due to the WSL architecture, so that we'll, we will not be able to, to change that. However, what we'll be able to change is uh, the other uh, file systems uh, based on micro OS. Um, I will showcase after just the FS tab quickly uh, how I did it, uh, but for the time being, this means that as an immutable OS, then nothing should be installed. Thanks for the container runtime already being installed, we have Podman, and if we couple Podman with the now uh, in beta, the WSL graphics and sounds, we will be able actually to launch Firefox without being installed in our uh, distro directly. And we could go for YouTube, for example, and then just accept everything. There's a better way to do it with other options, but right now it's just really for the approval concept. And if we go search for open SUSE micro OS and launch the one from Tyler. Okay, you should see, you should hear the publicity for Switzerland, so it is our like uh, grocery store. The rocket equation, it's a beautiful thing. And. No astronaut oh, okay. launches so through space. Works, so. Okay, welcome to another video. What we're going to be doing today is taking a look at Micro OS, which is an immutable okay, operating system so from Open. That will be like we will be able to use maybe other, uh, let's say, containers or anything. And then the FS tab looks like this. This U UUID is actually a disk that is coming from micro OS uh, directly that was mounted from here, from this address here. And this one here, if I search for the mount VHD, then I downloaded directly the VHDX from uh, the micro OS site. Hope you enjoyed and I will post it in, uh, in the community blog. See ya.